it's me, Bren, and I'm out in the dome this morning. It is toasty hot. Um, a lot of this is from watering, which is kind of fun on a 90 degree, 90 degree day outside. The fans are on in here, hoping to keep uh, tolerable while I'm in here. When I leave, I actually turn it off, and these tropicals and different cactus and succulents that I have just love this heat. Um, so I'm gonna show you a little bit, just a couple of things that I'm really excited about for this time of year since we're getting close to the end of July and I'm in Ohio, but this is literally like Florida, like hot, hot Florida. Uh, it's humid and the heat is just perfect for some of these plants. And the ones that aren't, I kind of tuck them down in little cooler spaces, but that's a whole nother video. So let me show you what I got growing on in here. I'm gonna start out with my mother of thousands or millions. I'm not sure which one this is, but it's gone nuts. I've had it here uh, in the dome and outside for a couple years now. I got this at a really cute little garden center up along Lake Michigan in Michigan, and I just love it. In fact, I've split off little babies even, and they're nice to give as little gifts, and I just have fun watching them produce their little babies on the plants in various little containers in the dome in little secret areas where they get a little bit of shade. I've actually got a few different tomato plants I'm still experimenting with to see if I can get to produce during the hot summer. This is one of my favorite little corners over here. I've got a couple of plants that are usually inside. They weren't doing so well inside last winter. So I actually moved them out here to the dome and they're doing amazing in here. And there's actually, if you look way back there, there's a banana tree popping up. It's loving that heat shade back there. Now my uh, avocado tree, he's doing all right. I've got him hid behind the figs and um, this uh, elephant ear for right now. It doesn't like the super hot heat in here. So we'll keep it tucked back there and he's surviving. It's a pretty tree. I was able to winter over for the first time and actually keep it growing. Patchouli. <laughs> this is a cute little patchouli plant that I got last summer at a local garden center up in Toledo and I just love it. I think the key to it is one, not to water it too much in the winter. And now in the summer, I keep it sh I keep it mulched with a nice live mulch from a succulent. And it's actually in the hot spot, but it's on a tray that has water. So it's getting some nice humidity and it really loves it as you can tell. This is one of my baby mystery hot pe pepper plants that I started from seed. It's doing really well. I had a grasshopper in here that we just took care of, or I took care of. <laughs> so hopefully I don't get any more bites like that. Lemongrass. <clears throat> and this is fun. My roses are doing really good, actually mixed in with hot peppers. If you see here, oops, I need to prune this one. I've actually got more buds coming on. The key is to keep it close to the heat, the south wall, but yet it's getting shaded by a uh, tea tree, <laughs> literally a tea tree. And I do have a umbrella that I move around in here periodically, but this time of year, it's working perfect right here. And I'm so excited I get some more peppers. Here's another one. Now this one I did not start from seed. This one I just wintered over the last year here. These are so yummy. Ferns cannas in here and lots of tropicals. I still have my little corn on the cob cactus. Well.
and this is new i hope i can keep it alive it's so pretty this is an ornamental oregano plant and it smells so nice it's just so cute i love the pink so i'm hoping i can keep this alive in here um we'll see fingers crossed pomegranate So thanks for checking out my video today. You can find this and other creative living ideas on my website at brenhaas.com. I hope to see you there. Make sure you say hey so I know you visited.